Detective Hannah is my submission for the SAP HANA Inner Jam 2012 Developer Challenge. It solves an age-old problem using an innovative approach relying on the power of native in-memory columnar data processing capability. I'm Peter Chapman from Sydney, Australia, and this is my shot at that ticket to HANA Hawaii. When I heard about the challenge, it was around the time of the London riots. So I'm thinking, how can I use SAP HANA to identify some of the rioters? A really powerful computer could monitor cell phones as mobs move from site to site around London City and identify individual subscribers involved. Phones connect to towers by just being switched on. The data model is simple. Times and locations for crime, cell tower locations and details of cell phones connected to towers. The analytics part cross-references time and location for crime with time and location for cell phone activity to identify any repeat offenders. The more crime data you put in, the more chances of catching a repeat offender. For best results, you would load many years of police reports and cell tower records. Finding meaningful data was a challenge. I started with random data to test the model. It worked, but was frankly pretty dull. Any insights on random data are artefacts of an algorithm. Fortunately, the New South Wales government publishes crime statistics summarised by month. I used a macro in Excel to explode it into records and added random dates. 18 million crimes were reported over 15 years. Cell sites were trickier. I found a website that lists them 50 at a time. Scraperwiki.com came to my rescue and with some custom PHP code I got up to 16,863 tower sites before it finally blocked me out. Cell connections are big data. Conservatively, 2 million subscribers in Sydney connecting to 20 sites a day would generate 14 billion records a year. I used an Excel macro to create a sample set of 4.4 million random connections. The SAP HANA MDX provider for Excel provided the list of valid tower site IDs. Once the data was available, the next step was to create the columnar tables in SAP HANA memory to store it. This was old school, using a SQL create column table command. Of course, no indexes required. Data loading worked as advertised. There is a requirement for a control file, and it would be nice to have a default option that assumed certain file names. Make sure the field lengths are long enough for the data. Data loads incredibly fast. 18 million crime records loaded in under 5 minutes. My 3 gigabyte connections data file wouldn't FTP to the server, so I had to settle for 2 gigs. Once the data is loaded, it's time to get it out. I stopped using analysis views early on when I realised they don't materialise in the data explorer and I went straight to calculation views. This was the hardest part of the challenge for me, partly because it looks like it should be so simple. In retrospect, it seems obvious, but you need numbers in tables to be able to measure anything. The crimes table had to be redesigned to include number of offenders, which was always one. Two joins were required to connect the three tables on date and location, and a projection then filtered connections according to the time of the reported crime. The analysis part is where Detective Hanna really earns his stripes. The first view showed crime statistics, which are based on real data with no joins and no delay. Real data is much more interesting than random stuff, 
and it was pretty impressive to filter through 6.5 million records in under half a second. The next view uses the joins and a projection to analyse how many reported crimes each subscriber happened to be around. It takes longer, at just three and a half seconds, and identifies two subscribers who are present at ten crime scenes. Drilling down on a single offence category, theft, locates two subscribers who were in the vicinity of five thefts each. When we select a subscriber and drill down to filter by that one person, we can see that all the crimes were committed in the same place and on the same date. The presentation was the last part of the challenge. To be honest, I found this the most intimidating. I wanted vision of London burning and police chases interspersed with analytics from the appliances that honed in on the culprits in real time moving from tower to tower. Prezi seemed like a good compromise and if you're still watching then using Prezi has been a success. It was fun to put together, pretty quick and a lot more entertaining than many of the alternatives I could think of. Let's finish up with some results from this experience. Most importantly, you just can't beat real data. When it comes to interactive analytics, people want the sense of discovery and insight that can only come from mining realistic data. The biggest weakness with my challenge response is that I don't have all real data, so Detective Hannah is just playing dress-ups. There was more than enough data to test the capability of SAP HANA, and performance results were exceptional. 50,000 records loaded in under one second, and 18 million records loaded in under five minutes. Six and a half million records filtered in just three and a half seconds. I am certain that if real cell phone data and crime reports had been used, then Detective Hannah would be listing real suspects for currently unsolved crimes. What other business case can save so much police time, prevent losses, injury and heartache associated with crime, and perhaps even save lives?